Hello and welcome, I am Bob and this is my fifth time recording this commentary as for some reason every time I click record and then I finish the commentary my computer has decided not to actually record. It says it's recording and everything shows all the uh, wee things, the bars going up and down as I talk but then once I close like the recording bit and go to view playback the thing, it hasn't recorded it. Hmm, I don't like that. But uh, this is a pretty beastly shot coming up here, so I'll be quiet. Oh! Collateral! Oh, I got the collateral! Gee, oh, collateral, collateral! I got a collateral! <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, that was just like a juice in your pants moment. I did not expect to get that this match. I am actually not the greatest sniper, so getting a collateral for me is pretty good. I am, um, as I've just said, I'm not the best sniper. I'm trying to get better. That's why I'm using the Barrett other than rather than the intervention, as I find the Barrett is the easiest sniper to learn to snipe with. I find the cross hit there when you scope in, the scope tends to go more to the centre of the screen rather than the intervention, it seems to go a bit more random. Uh, I also find the recoil is easier to predict, so you don't have to, that once you've shot and you miss, you don't have to really much do much realigning, it seems to go back to basically where it was before. So if you're wanting to learn to snipe, I'd highly recommend starting going for the Barrett. And don't go for Zergrez. Oh, oh! 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 Second collateral of the match. That one was a double headshot. Yeah. I, I was so happy I still decided to record this match. I did not expect to get that this match. And then I get a nice wee double... Not quite double kill, but uh, I'm not going a nice kill streak there. And then you'll see here all my kills get stolen by Carlson's Raiders with his L86 LSW, I think it's called. Uh, but anyway, I kind of fail it. I, I do fail at shooting that guy. Then I fail at shoot. I think I do fail at shooting him. I don't know. I might hit him. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to just wait and see. Yeah, I fail. But uh, get a nice wee quick scope on this guy here, and then run up the steps. And what's waiting for me? A claymore, as always. But uh, as I was saying before, I just again. <laughs> uh, I'm not the best sniper, and in one match, getting two collaterals, one being a double headshot, that, for me, uh, as soon as I got that, I was just like, right, this match is getting uploaded, I don't care how the rest of this match goes, I'm uploading this. It's just pretty a beast for me. Uh, my KD for this match, I think I go about 24 and 20, tw no, about 27 and 20, I think it is, which, I think it's something like that, I don't know the exact number but it's that's good for me when I'm sniping normally I don't get that good but in as long as in a team deathmatch in my opinion as long as you're positive that's all that matters and I get a pr pretty nice quick scope on him but going positive in a team deathmatch is the only thing that matters uh, or not it's not the only thing that matters because but if you're going negative that is harming your team so basically uh, going positive is the objective of the match uh, so that that's one thing, but uh, getting a good KD in Domination, no, do not try and get a good KD in Domination. Play the objective, capture the flags, that is how to play Domination. I seriously hate it when people just camp and try to, I don't, I don't mind if they camp the flags and defend the flags as that's how you're meant to play the game and play Domination, you're meant to defend the flags. But I seriously dislike it when someone's trying to just camp and build up a nuke and domination as that is not how the game is meant to be played. They're just going for kills, which it's not how you're supposed to play. Uh, but when we're playing, if we're playing as like a team and we've got like six people, we'll, ha we'll have one guy going, not camping for kills, but actually rushing them, going into their spawn and killing them. So that they're distracted constantly and aren't able to build up, like, group together, then make a, con a push together for a flag. If they're constantly being killed in their spawn, they're not going to be able to regroup and make a concerted effort to push for a flag. Which, 
if you've got the rest of the team actually playing the objective, having one or two people going about just messing with them, going into their spawn and rushing in there, killing them, getting killed, running back, killing them, getting killed, running back, can really just disrupt their team and not allow them to focus and make a proper effort to try and capture a flag, which is, that's how a good team would play. I, I, I don't claim to be the best, but I think I'm pretty good. Uh, I'm definitely not the best sniper anyway. Which you'll see in this video, but uh, yeah, stuff like that. Um, if you were, I, I should have hit that shot, but I didn't, so I don't care anyway. It's uh, I'm using a sniper, I know I'm not going to hit every shot. So anyway, um, one thing I would really like on this video, as it's my first video for LGU, is some constructive criticism. Not just a comment going, you're a dick, you're a prick, you're a twat, uh, anything like that. If it was on my channel, i just block people who comment like that. As I see no re If you're going to comment like that, I see no reason why you should be allowed to comment anymore. So, yeah. Constructive criticism is something I really would like. I would love to hear how I can improve these commentaries, what I can do, some tips for gameplay, uh, if there's a weapon you'd like to see me use, if there's a perk combination that would improve my gameplay uh, that I'm not using. I would love to hear sort of stuff like that or if you see me do something that you know how I can improve post it in the comment section below and you never know I may actually ask you to show me what you mean if it's like a gameplay tip or something if you see something I'm doing wrong I may ask I may like message you asking for your gamer tag so you can actually show me what you mean and how you would have done it so that I can improve because that's how I like to play I like to I really like to interact with the community see and just improve it because I'm doing this for you guys, I'm not doing any of this for myself, I don't get paid for it. So I'm doing this all for you, so I would really like to, you to tell me how to improve. So please, please, please leave some constructive criticism in the comment section below. But if you think I'm perfect and I don't need to improve, then be sure to say that as well. I know I'm not, but if you think I am, that would be great to hear. It would definitely boost my confidence a bit and let me know that I'm not doing this uh, and completely failing at it. I, I don't think I'm a bad commentator as such, I think I'm average, at, I'm, I'm probably average, I don't know. I, I'd like to be one of the big popular directors one day but I know that that probably won't happen but whatever. I hope you enjoy my commentaries and that's the, that's like the, what I'm aiming for. I've got 230 subs at the moment, which means that 230 people like my commentaries, which for me is that, I, I don't, I think that's quite good. I've, I've just started doing commentaries and such. Uh, so that, uh, the match is basically at an end now. I hope you've enjoyed this commentary. And if you'd like to see some more videos from me, just comment saying what you'd like to see below. And please, please, please leave some constructive criticism as that is something I would really like. I read the comments and reply to as many as I can. So that has been me. Uh, I'm Bob and I hope you've enjoyed. I will see you guys later.